السلام عليكم اهلا دكتور مروان So I have a question here regarding the uh, lupus with the um, cardiovascular activity. So do you think um, one of the most important factors in this, you, don't, you know that we do have a lot of factors, including lipid profiles, hypertension, diabetes, and these things. But I'm talking particularly about the lupus patient with the risk of cardiovascular. Do you think the immune deposit complex plus the low complements as is playing a major role in the complement uh, in these patients. So this is my thought, I mean, about it. What is your opinion in this? Well, well, th thank you. This is a wonderful question. Uh, so the data from Michelle Petri shows that low complement contribute, and it's part of the risk score. Um, uh, thrombosis event happen uh, uh, because of many things, and some of it is complement uh, consumption. So I, early on, I do believe that uh, thrombo immune-mediated immune process triggering a thrombosis is a key factor. Whether immune complement, uh, immune complement uh, sorry, immune complex is the basis of it or it's more of a, you know, endothelial injury with a complement activation without immune deposition is subject of debate. I don't really have an answer for it. Uh, but I truly believe that low complement contribute uh, either from inflammation or endothelial uh, injury. And I think the biggest question is how you can mitigate that early on in the course of someone who has been captured recently diagnosed loop, especially full house, when those were presenting with fever, especially younger population. Uh, I'm not, I don't have an answer for it يعني, in terms of management. Yeah, uh, my question is Dr. Hanadi about your case. Uh, what do you think the cause of the heart failure? Uh, you know, the patient was presented with ejection fraction of 10%. Do you think that the patient had myocarditis because troponin was very high? Was there a global hypokinesia? Uh, well, uh, first of all, we're, we were sure this is not, uh, not ischemic. So um, the, the uh, MRI we did for the patient showed um, the, uh, there was no evidence of myocarditis, yet we, this was done like uh, three months after the symptoms started. So there might be a, a bit of myocarditis that has evolved into dilated cardiomyopathy. Um, which is the most likely explanation of, of, the, of the patient uh, scenario. Oh, it would have been very important if we could uh, do the, a biopsy, but we, we uh, discussed it with the family, but they, they refused. We suspected this. That's why we did her MRI. But we wanted to make sure that we can find something on, on the MRI. Unfortunately, there was no evidence of myocarditis. But the MRI was done after some times where the anti-failure medication were started. Whether this has changed the picture or whether she had some bouts of myocarditis. And the patient, when she presented, it was not very acute. You know, for someone who has ejection fraction of 10 to 15, um, just uh, t tolerating exercise, it, it, that, that could uh, give us the um, explanation that this was not acute. So probably she has some bout of myocarditis and that was, co that was complicated with the, with the dilated cardiomyopathy. Any further questions? If there is none. Dr. Ibrahim, uh, what do you think about uh, uh, CT calcium scoring to be done early on for patients with lupus? That's a, a wonderful question. And number one, you have to afford it, uh, of course. But uh, so uh, uh, short answer is uh, calcium scoring has been utilized as a way to detect early disease. There are data that shows that it could be very useful to pick up people with at higher risk. We are doing that part of the study in our center. The problem is after the calcium score, what should you do next? And of course, putting them on statin and uh, all the atherosclerosis management is appropriate. Uh, however, whether that strategy lead to an improvement of outcome, it's yet to be discovered. But there is clear evidence that it does detect early disease. And there is a clear evidence that um, you putting people on uh, atherosclerosis medication, including statin, induced with existing disease, might modify the burden of black. But that's what I can say. So your target to the patient will say, 
I'm going to modify your plaque risk. I hope by doing so, I change your outcome. I'm being very honest. Okay, so we'll conclude our uh, session and. Thank you.